ओके गाइस वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस एग्जांपल फ्रॉम हेबुलर स्टेटिक्स इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी विल लर्न हाउ टू फाइंड द सेंट्रॉइड ऑफ ए कंपोजिट बॉडी सो दिस इज वेरी इजी द फर्स्ट स्टेप टू सॉल्व सच काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इज दैट डिवाइड द होल कंपोजिट बॉडी और शेप इन टू सब पार्ट्स राइट एंड divide it in such a way that uh, the centroid of each individual part or shape is known are given in uh, any table which is present at the end of the book right so we have this table and here the centroids of various uh, sh known shapes are given so we need to divide um, this composite body into such shape so that we know the centroid location as we can see that we are given this wire and we can divide this wire into three segments right one segment could be this semi circle then this second segment could be this length along the y axis and then this length uh, along the z axis so as a whole uh, we can divide this composite body into three segments right so the procedure is that since we want to find the x bar y bar and z bar the centroid location so from theory or from the principle of moment equation is we know that x bar will be equal to the summation of x tilde times l divided by the summation of the lengths similarly y bar will be equal to the summation of y tilde times l divided by the summation of the length and similarly uh, z bar will be equal to the summation of z tilde times l divided by summation of length now what is x bar uh, x tilde y tilde and z tilde we already know that x tilde y tilde and z tilde are the locations of the centroid of each sub part right so from the from the origin so now if let's say if this is my segment one uh, segment one let's say so we need to develop such kind of table right so we need to write that we are considering segment one then the length of this segment one so we need to find the length so as we know that the circumference of a whole circle is 2 pi r so the length of this semicircle will be only 2 pi r divided by 2 or we can say that this will be pi r so this is pi r so now um, the radius of this semicircle is given this is 60 so we can say that the length of uh, this segment one is 60 60 pi so i can write that this is 60 pi and the units are in mm similarly the centroid of this uh, semicircular wire will be located somewhere here let's say if this is the location so x tilde is the location of this centroid of this semicircle from the origin right so this is this is x tilde this is x tilde and this distance is y tilde this is y tilde so now as we can see that x tilde will be equal to the radius of this semi circle so i will write that this is 60 mm and similarly y tilde y tilde we can find y tilde uh, using the table so in the, uh, i have i have picked this from table and the y tilde of semi circle in the quarter uh, quarter arc is 2r divided by 2r divided by pi if i if i show you people so this is the wire this is circular arc this is a quarter arc or semi circular circular arc so its centroid is located at a distance of 2r divided by pi from this line so this this y tilde will be equal to 2r divided by pi so now we can solve this this is 2r is 60 divided by pi so 2 into 60 divided by pi gives us 38.2 so this this has been solved and that is 38.2 now as we can see that this is the origin this is the positive y so this will be the negative y so we can say that this is 38.2 but this centroid of segment 1 is located at a distance of minus 38.2 from this origin so i will write that y tilde is minus 38.2 similarly z tilde so as we can see that this centroid of the semi circle is located in xy plane so the uh, the z 
coordinate of this uh, centroid of this semicircle is zero. There is no need to travel from the origin in the z direction. So the z tilde is zero for the centroid of this segment one. Now we have to take the product since uh, in this formula, as we can see that we need to find x tilde times l, y tilde times l, and z tilde times l. So we have to multiply x tilde with l. So that is 60 into 60 pi. Similarly, y tilde is minus 38.2 into l. So l is 60 pi. And similarly, z tilde is 0. So 0 into l is 0. Similarly, for segment 2, this is segment 2. So now this is our segment 2. So its length is, its total length is 40 mm. So I will write 40. And as we know that the uh, the centroid of this segment will be located at its geometric center. So it will be somewhere here at its mid length, right? So as we can see that this segment is located, uh, is aligned along the y axis and this centroid is on the y axis. So this means that x tilde, the location of the centroid of this segment 2 is along is on the y axis so x tilde will be zero so we can write that x tilde is zero and y tilde will be this distance and this distance will be 20 mm the half of the length of this segment so y tilde is uh, 20 mm and as we can see that uh, since the centroid is located on the y axis so the z tilde the z coordinate of the centroid of this segment 2 is zero so we will write that this is zero as well now we have to take the product so this into 40 is zero and 20 into 40 this is 800 and 0 into 40 is 0. Now the, the, the same calculation for the third segment so third segment is vertical and again its centroid will be located at its geometric center so its whole length is 20 mm so its centroid will be at its mid length from the y axis so its length is uh, 20 mm so I will write this as 20 is we can see that this centroid is in the y z plane so again as we can see that uh, the x tilde coordinate of the centroid of the segment 3 will be 0 as well since if this is located somewhere here so uh, its x coordinate will be 0 right so we can write that x tilde is 0 similarly y tilde will be this length this is 40 mm right this centroid is located at a distance of 40 mm from that origin so i will write that y tilde is 40 and z tilde will be uh, the along the z axis so along the z axis this centroid is located at a distance of 10 mm from the y axis and that is along the negative z this is the positive so this is in the negative z so we will write that this is a minus 10 mm now again we need to take the product of x tilde time l so x tilde into l is 0 then 40 into 20 is 80 and minus 10 into 20 is uh, this is 800 and minus 10 into 20 is minus 200. Now we have to take the summation, right? So we have to add up this length. So now the total length is uh, 60 pi plus 40 plus 20. So the total length of the segment is 248.50 approximately. Let me write that this is 248.50. This is the summation, right? Now, the x tilde time L in the formula, we need to have the sum of x tilde time L. So, x tilde time L is 60 into 60 pi. So, that is 60 multiplied by 60. So, let me write it is 3600 pi. So, this is 3600 pi. Now, we need to add up this. This will be the summation of y tilde times L. This is the summation of x tilde time L. Now, uh, the summation of y tilde times L will be equal to the summation of this. So, this is uh, minus 38.2 minus 38.2 into 60 pi plus 800 plus 800. So, this gives me minus 5600 approximately. This is minus. 5600.53 and its units will be mm square this is y tilde so y tilde units are millimeter and the length units are millimeter so this is millimeter square and now the summation of 
z tilde times l is minus 200. So summation of x tilde times l is 3600 pi divided by the summation of length which is 248.50. Similarly, uh, y, the summation of y tilde times l is minus 5600.53 divided by the summation of the length which is 248.50 and similarly this is minus 200 divided by that length is, is 248.50 so now we can calculate x tilde x tilde is 3600 pi divided by 248.50 this gives us 45.51 this is 45.51 similarly we can calculate this is minus 5600 uh, minus 5600 divided by 248.550 so this gives us minus 22.54 minus this is in mm this is in mm and this is minus 200 minus 200 divided by 248.50 so this gives us minus 0 0.0.805 0 approximately or we can add this is minus 8 0 0.81 mm now the centroid is located somewhere here uh, from the origin it is at a distance of 45.51 so let's say that somewhere here this whole this radius is 60 so 45.51 will be somewhere here so this distance is 45.51 this is x bar and then y bar is minus that is minus 22.54 so minus this is positive y so the minus will be somewhere here so this distance is let's say uh, minus 22.54 this will be y till uh, y bar let me write this as y bar and then in the negative z axis that is minus 0 0.81 so we need to travel in the negative z direction so let's say that this height is let's say minus 0 0.81 so the centroid is located somewhere here for this whole composite body so let's say this is the location of the centroid of this whole body and we can write the coordinates of this centroid is x bar y bar and z bar and these are x is 45.51 y bar is minus 22.54 and z bar is minus 0 0.81 and all these are in mm so this is how we can find the centroid uh, of a composite body i will solve such more examples uh, and you people will learn how to find the centroid location for different composite bodies having various kinds of shapes i hope this will help you in your learning uh, kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet and like this video for the solution of such more problems from Hebler statics